My ex left saying she ain't got the time, yo I double check and pray the email was a typo I, I call my mate and now we're in the Hey same. cuties, welcome back to my channel So here's an unboxing video for you um, I'm working with a company called New Star Hair Of course another AliExpress vendor um, They decided to send me their Brazilian Deep Wave Brazilian Deep Wave or Curly? I'll leave that down below. Um, but yeah, so they sent me a 24, I believe two 24s, two 22s, um, and then an 18-inch closure. So I'll just be showing you that today. So this is what the packaging looks like. Uh, the closure just comes inside of a plastic bag, of course. All right, and here's just a quick look at the lace. So of course, like I said, this is a deep wave. Um, and it looks really, really long. The curls are like really bouncy. Kind of cute. I like this texture. Um, and then the closure, of course, is a 4x4 as usual. I went ahead and um, bleached the knots on this. I do have a video of how to bleach knots, how to bleach a closure. So make sure you check out that video. But yeah, so I went ahead and did that. Rinsed out the hair and the curls are still there. So looking good. So this is all the hair. I have four bundles. Like I said, two 24s um, and two 22s. So I'm just going to take a look at the 24 inch just to see what it looks like. And again, straight out of the bundle, I mean out of the packaging, it smells like fried rice. <laughs> it really does. I don't know why it smells like that. Or maybe I'm just hungry. I don't know. Anywho, yeah, so this hair, it does have a smell. It does not stink. Like, obviously fried rice smells good, but that doesn't mean I want hair to smell like that. But, um, I don't know why it smells like fried rice. Anyway, as you can see, the hair is like exactly the same as the closure. It looks really bouncy. Of course, because this is a, a longer bundle, the 24 inch is going to be a little bit more loosely textured um, than the 18 inch that I just showed you. But the hair is really, really soft. Towards the end, it does get a little bit more... Um, I don't even want to say brittle. It's just not as softly textured as the top. Um, but of course, I'll be moisturizing this hair during a deep condition co-wash etc give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see me do the ivy flip over method um i don't think that i've created a wig like doing that but y'all know i'm obsessed with wigs that's the only way i wear extensions so yeah let me know thumbs up this video if you would like to see that um i'm gonna go ahead and pull out the curls just because i want to see what this is gonna look like how big this hair can get this is pretty Okay. And of course you're not supposed to go through curly hair um, while it's dry, but clearly I'm doing this and I'm not getting any snagging, any tangling. Nothing has come out of the bundle. So, looking good already. This is going to be really, really cute. It really is. And I've never really done really long curly hair, so stay tuned for that. Now, my only con, this rubber band. Y'all know I hate the rubber band method for like holding the webs together only because it can kind of snag the hair. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this off just to see if it leaves a dent, and it probably will. Okay, yeah, so it did leave a small dent, but nothing too crazy. Um, let's see if the hair starts shedding now, though. Okay, so I got two strands, but nothing crazy. So, sorry y'all. If y'all hear them mowing outside, I mean, they disrespectful, but whatever. Alright, so this is pretty much what the hair is looking like. It's going to be really, really big and full. I'm going to stuff all four bundles in my head. I'm going to try. I'm just going to have to double up these webs. The webs, it looks like you get quite a bit of hair. You know, usually when you get, um, like, the longer the length of the bundles, the shorter the wetting is but here they look pretty even let me roll this all the way out it does smell like fried rice it's like cooking oil or something maybe from when they process the hair i don't know they don't smell bad though you know little fried rice little mong chong cheek chong <laughs> So this is the hair. Of course this end, they just kind of got twisted up on each other. But anywho, this is the hair. This is how much wefting you get. Of course when you open it up, it doubles. But I'll be putting it on the um, cap just like this. So it looks pretty good to me. I don't see any like long beards. Everything is evenly meshed up. Um, and the end, the beards on it just kind of fold over easily. So everything looks good. It doesn't look like they skimped me on the weft. It does not look like it goes from really really full to skinny at the end everything looks like 
fine. So I'm really excited to install this hair. There's not much more I can really give um, on the hair because I have not had it installed. Um, and I can't really judge the tangling or shedding until it is installed. So if I say install one more time. <laughs> but anywho, stay tuned for that video. If you guys have not seen how to make a wig video, check those out. If you guys have not seen my how to bleach your uh, lace closure or lace frontal video, make sure you check that out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Stay pretty. Bye. Oh, and so the hair comes inside of this really, really cute little bag. Um, it just says the name of the company, of course. And then you store your hair on the inside. And then they also give you this little, like, card. It kind of tells you a little bit about the company. Um, and then, of course, the instructions on how to take care of your um, extensions. So... Looks pretty cute. It tells you how to comb through the hair, how to properly wash the hair, how to open up the webs. Y'all will see that I didn't really do it the way that they wanted you to. But um, yeah, um, make sure you check this out. So thank you, New Star, and I will see y'all later. If y'all, um, <laughs> I know somebody's gonna ask if you have questions about my nail polish. Again, I don't know. So, what was the point of me even telling you that? I don't know the color of my nails, but, um, yeah, just go to your local Ching Chong. Um, that was so racist. That was racist. That really was racist. Go to your local nail salon and check out all the beautiful gel colors. Usually, they're numbered, and I believe this was number 147. So, check it out. My ex left saying she ain't got the time, yo. I double take and pray the email was a time.